Alrighty guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be talking to you about aquatic substrate from Imagitarium. So yeah, it's essentially just white aquarium sand from Imagitarium. Imagitarium is a company that just makes aquarium related products. So this rocks, carbon activated pellets, you know, just any, really anything that has to do with building an aquarium, Imagitarium makes it a quality company. This is the five pound bag. I think they also sell it in 20 pounds, which was far over what I needed. Obviously you can use it for freshwater or saltwater fish. So the thing is, I can't really speak for aquarium use as I don't use it for an aquarium as I don't have an aquarium. <laughs> I actually use it for a succulent garden. Built it a couple months ago, and one of the, I guess, ingredients or layers that I decided to put in my garden was this aquatic substrate, or this white aquarium sand. And there's actually a few reason, reasons why I decided to use this sand over other kinds of sands, and I'll get into that. So, for starters, I feel like this sort of sand helps to simulate a, a positive, natural environment for succulents. Now I think of it like this. After all, you know, succulents thrive in the heat and in desert landscapes, and therefore I felt that the sand would be, th uh, this kind of sand would be the most habitual choice, or just sand in general, really. So that was my first kind of thing on, on why I got this. And as you can see, it's really, really got that fine, grainy, look like desert sand, which is cool. You know, second, this type of sand, it really helps to promote growth of healthy bacteria, breaks down water. It's another reason why, you know, it's, it's really important to have something like this for succulents, I think. You know, succulents are, are made to be left alone a lot of the time to grow and thrive without any sort of human intervention. And so this sand is doing a lot of the job. It, I, it essentially, I put it on top as a top layer and I feel fine leaving the succulents to be, you know, not having to worry about bad bacteria growing and killing them as time goes on as this sand kind of takes care of, 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 of trapping that and, and providing, providing that work for me. So that's really nice. Third reason, just looks great <laughs> with the plants. So again, this is the it, it, this aquatic substrate is is definitely white. It's got a white sort of feel to it. It looks maybe a little brown in the bag, but it it, it kind of changes when you put it against a darker backdrop. So you know if you're dealing with succulents that are dark green or have you know dark or even just really vibrant dark yet vibrant colors. Putting it, them against this white backdrop can really help accentuate the colors, provides a really nice contrast, especially if you're building a garden that's, you know, purely for aesthetic. That's really nice. Also, if you have it out in the sun, which our little garden is out in the sun most of the time, it acts as a nice reflective surface. So it kind of has this like shimmering look to it, which, you know, is actually similar to, similar to a look that you would have if you did put it in an aquarium. So that, that's it's pretty cool that way. All in all, this is great, inexpensive sand that you know can be used for succulent gardens, obviously, as well as your aquarium if you're into that. The one thing I will say, which is kind of a bummer that I don't like about it, is I wish it came with like a plastic casing in a jar or something along the lines of a jar with like a lid because, you know, obviously I didn't use this all in one sitting, so... And it, and I'm gonna keep it because if I ever wanna, you know, expand my garden, make it a little bigger, whatever. Thing is, it comes in this plastic bag, so, you know, to make sure it doesn't spill, I have to roll it and then, you know, put this clip on it and... I don't know, it, it's kind of a hassle. Plus, like, you know, the plastic, like, it's just, I don't know, it's a little ironic to me that they're using plastic in, like, an ocean-related product. But, you know, what can you do? Other than that, it's pretty solid. Can't complain. 
And yeah, if you're looking to build a succulent garden or anything, or you need just a really cool looking top layer that can, you know, help do some of the work that you might need done, Imagitarium Aquatic Substrate will uh, will do the trick for you. So yeah, check it out and build a little garden for yourself this summer. All right, take it easy, you guys.